just logging on to do a um, cloth pad haul for four different shops that I've purchased from recently. Um, I'm due in April with my first baby and I decided that's a good excuse to get some pads that are um, just for postpartum, like longer lengths and heavier absorbencies. Uh, so I made an order with Homestead Emporium, County Cloth Creations, Sylvia's Basket by Sarah, and Unpaper Unplastic. And these are all stores that have Etsy Etsy shops, um, and then and Homestead Emporium also has a hyena cart store. So this is what I got from Homestead Emporium. Uh, I got an Ultimax Slim, which is about 14 and a half inches long, and it has. Uh, fleecy back with like a hard faced layer it's it's not regular fleece I think it's like a it's a fleece that has like a flat side facing in um, so yeah I've never used a pad with that kind of fleece on it but Seems like it'll be more water resistant. So this is just super bright neon, like yellow green. And I think it'll be really good for just right at the beginning. And then I got two of the Ulti Mini style. And these are heavy absorbency as well. I think they have three layers of bamboo cotton fleece um, in the core here. Uh, and they are also backed in like a wind pro. This one is just a regular fleece. And this is that same fleece as the longer one um, that has the flat side facing in. And yeah, these are 12 inches. And I already have one Ulti Mini. That I've had for a long time, um, but I figured the 12 inch length would be good, so I got two, two more of those. And they're all topped in hand dyed organic bamboo velour. The next shop I'll show you is Unpaper Unplastic on Etsy. I got a 12 inch organic bamboo velour topped. Um, pad and it's moderate absorbency it just has one layer of bamboo cotton fleece inside and then the back is a grid style wind pro and then also from that shop I got a 10 inch boosted heavy they called it um, it's got a layer of bamboo cotton fleece inside for the core and then from about here to here right in the middle where the most bleeding happens there's a layer of absorb added to the core and this is a really pretty dye job with the rings and it's backed in the same grid wind pro and the black snap is for heavy the Moderate has a gray snap. And then I got a 10 inch, uh, this one's topped in a micro Sherpa, I think bamboo micro Sherpa or something. It kind of feels like the fuzzy side of bamboo fleece. And this one is moderate absorbency with the gray snap. It's just the top layer of bamboo and then an inner layer of bamboo cotton fleece. Um, and then I got two liners from this shop. They're both topped in hand dyed cotton Sherpa, which is really nice and fluffy and kind of um, really absorbent. I ran some water over these and they absorbed a ton of fluid 
and without wicking through this Wind Pro back. They both have like a thin, uh, dense Wind Pro fleece back. But there's no inner layer for these, it's just the Cotton Sherpa, but it seems like the Cotton Sherpa alone is really absorbent. And these are 8 inches. They have the wrap wing style, so you get some coverage on the sides. And that is what they look like snapped to the smallest setting, probably about two and a half inches wide. And then they have the nice, like I was saying, the wing coverage. So these would be good for like spotting near the end of the period or the beginning or as menstrual cup backup. I really like this material that I've never tried it, but I I think I'll really like the Cotton Sherpa top. So that's why I got a few liners. Um, and then this store is uh, Sil um, Sylvia's Basket by Sarah, the shop owner or the maker of the pads, is really talented and her name is Sarah. And she uses different patterns, pad patterns that are available on the web. Uh, this one in particular is called the Juliet pattern. This one is called Moonrise and you can see it's got like curved wings and then it just has the rounded top and bottom and it's symmetrical. And then this pattern is called Mini Titan. So these two are 12 inch both 12 inch is in length. Um, I don't have as many pads in 12 inches. I've been using cloth pads for eight years now, uh, but this is my first time having like a child and doing a postpartum bleed or whatever you want to call it. So uh, I didn't have very many longer lengths. Most of my pads were like eight to 10 inches long but 12 inches seems to be a good length for me for heavier flow or for like laying around a lot. So I got several more 12 inch pads as you can see. Um, but this one has like a bigger back and then it has this contoured front that's a little bit shorter. And this is called scrap work style because it has different pieces of jersey, cotton knit jersey, like sewn together to make it look cool. And then this is just a custom printed fabric. It's called Dracula tea bag and it's got like tampons and like a mean looking Dracula child figure. <laughs> so got this one and these were all really really discounted. She was ha running a 40% off sale. So the prices on these was stupid cheap. Like for the quality, um, they're backed, they're all backed in a really nice wind pro fleece kind of like your craft uses. Um, and then the absorbency is marked on the wings using little asterisk star patterns. So two is for moderate absorbency. So they both have the two stars. So these are both moderate. And I think they have bamboo fleece as the absorbent core. Really great custom knit prints. This Starbucks Galaxy print is amazing. Um, yeah, so that's the two 12 inch pads that I got from her shop. And then I got this one as well. I thought the patterns were really cool on it. It is a 9 inch light absorbency. So it just has one star here on the wing. Um, I could probably use this for light to moderate absorbency. I think it's got a core made of w just one layer of bamboo fleece. Or maybe a layer of bamboo fleece and a layer of flannel. 
or something. Um, and my regular periods don't tend to be super heavy. Uh, from my experience, I don't know if that will change after I have a baby, but usually they're kind of like light to moderate flow. So this should be a very good absorbency and size. I like the nine inch length. So that is the last one that I got from that shop. And then this final order, um, this is a shop I've, I already had some pads from. It's County Cloth Creations. It's a Canadian seller. Um, and these pads all have anti-pill fleece backs and flannel, like diaper flannel cores, um, which makes them pretty thin for their absorbency level. And then the tops are usually just a cotton material. And these two that I got here were both custom made, these were um, made to order slots. So sometimes she'll post made to order listings and you can choose the length and the absorbency that you want your pad to be in. So I got these both in 11 inches and heavy absorbency. And as you can see, this swan pad, the wings are a little bit lower. Um, it's her asymmetrical design, so it's just slightly longer. It's slightly longer on one side, so you can get more, like about an inch more coverage in the front or back. Um, the way the pattern is, is so the longer parts in the front, which is fine with me, but you can also flip it and have the longer part in the back if you want to. And then this owl one is 11 inches, but it's the symmetrical design, so the top and bottom are the same length. And these snap up to about two and a half inches in width. And I think that the heavy absorbency core is five, either five or six layers of cotton flannel. And then I got, this one was just ready made. It was like ready to ship. It's just a little thin panty liner with a micro fleece back. And it just has one layer um, of cotton flannel in the core. And it's just a cute sloth print. And it's eight inches long. So good for light days or spotting or cut back up or everyday liner needs. So that is all that I have ordered recently for uh, postpartum pads slash just for fun. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I can do reviews or whatever if you're interested in that after I've used them for postpartum. So thanks.